my judo philosophy was really impacted by Patrick Rue when he came in to help me for the London cycle. And I took that on into the, the Rio cycle. And he's, all that philosophy came from his massive fundamentals. So when the Rio cycle started, I got injured straight away, January, uh, six months after the games, I got injured uh, in January. I tore a labrum in my shoulder and that took me out for, I think, four to five months. It should have been six, I think, but I think I came back a slightly little bit earlier. Um, and at that point, I wanted to make a change because Patrick's fundamental skills have taught me about creating that reaction, action. Stuff that you probably learn when you're younger in some of these other countries, but I don't know if we had that kind of skill set and technical guidance in our country at a younger age. I certainly didn't feel like I had it out in the East. So, you know, my dad is a great technician, a great manager, but we wouldn't have said, um, a tactician, sorry, a uh, great manager, but not as technician. It wasn't where we, where we both saw our skills. So when... I got injured, I thought, right, I want to make a change here because I'm delivering against top boys. I'm staying in fights, but I want to actually start impacting these matches. I want to start taking a few more risks. So I built it all up a simple idea. And the simple idea came around just a movement pattern. And it was sparked by watching Hugo Le Grand fight in the European final in 2012. And he beat Soroka in the final just by, all he did all fight was a simple step pattern. And it was a simple step pattern that he used to have with a bit of a twitch and everything kind of started from that and, and rolled on. So I just created a simple idea around, right, I'm going to step behind, I'm going to twitch, I'm going to use a little bit of a twitch of my hip without stepping or moving. And from those three patterns, built the whole core of my judo. And of course, I could do sunagesh, I could do ichima, I could do sasai, I could do the twitch. Um, but they all had that starting point of that reaction. And because... I could do all those other things. It was the kind of key thing that brought all of those throws together in the same tree. So almost like I had those branches all over, but they were on separate trees. And this one tree core brought in those branches onto that one trunk and I could start really impacting in matches. And what was really interesting about it was it wasn't just because of the fact that I started to bring them all together. It was probably the one element of my judo that was pretty poor was that I used to stand still too, too much. I didn't create much reaction and, and move much because as a left-hander growing up, fighting right-handers, you tend to dominate a lot. So you don't have to have that movement as much. And so that brought everything together. And I think it's, it's definitely the last four years I've seen some of my best judo. And that's where I've really impacted in tournaments. And that's why I think I've seen my results and why I broke into the top five at one point in the world.